Hey, what is up, fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan, Raid Shadow Legends video here, and this video is all about speed because in the next couple of days, we have a couple of updates that are all speed related. Number one is we have this Dragon Tournament that will start in a few hours, and we will have times two chance of getting speed gear, which is one of the most sought after gear in the game, whether you're early, middle, or late game. Speed gear is very important, usually in places like Arena, the one that goes first usually wins the fight. So yeah, so really, this is one of the best things to come to raid uh you would want to farm dragon for this one but take note that they're doing this right before that special week-long champion training tournament next week we're in we will get special rewards such as royal guard uh, mountain king mashalid and krisk for the first place winner in all of those tournaments so uh this this can be a way for plarium to make us use all of our energy before that special champion training tournament personally i will still go for this dragon tournament because i am looking for a lot of nice speed gear with speed substats and but yes i will still do my best in that champion training tournament next week we will see uh if i can even get close uh but most likely the the winner the first place winner will go to of course the biggest whale the one that spends the most money for that week-long uh tournament all right so that's number one number two is we will have a patch soon that will bring us some quality of life changes in this game. Number one is for Faction Wars, we will get multi-battles and super raids, which will, of course, speed up the uh, the way that we farm Faction Wars. Now, of course, this game, while there are a lot of updates recently, we have a lot of new game modes. We have the new Hydra Clan boss. We have the Doom Tower. We have the Tag Arena. So while they're adding all of these things, it also adds to the rewards that, that they're getting, but it also adds to the time that you are spending in this game. So making uh, things that speed up the game with which is, of course, like in terms of super raids, like what they did recently with uh, Doom Tower boss fights, which is great. We will also get that with Faction Wars, which is great as well, because in Faction Wars, you're just simply, you know, you just click and then you leave, you do your own thing, you come back, you're ho hoping that all of your keys are done. And that is what they are doing. Next patch, super raids and multi battles for Faction Wars. So that's uh, that's the sec second thing today. Third thing is, along with that patch, we will also get a, uh, a chance to add more skill priorities in our save team presets uh, that are important for dungeons, for Doom Tower fights, wherein you will set skill pri priorities or uh, tell champions that they're not going to use certain skills. Of course, in places like the Fire Knight, where you want Allure to just use her A1 for the boss, but for the waves leading up to the boss, uh, you want you want her to use her a2 or her a3 to speed up the fight a little bit because of course the a1 is only really for the boss so you can save uh skill pri priorities for each round of the fight so that that will be very useful will really speed up a lot a lot of our runs and will help us save time and not spend too much time on on the game because i know that everyone is spending hours and hours every single day just trying to finish just the free stuff the free daily um what keys energy that that we're getting uh so yeah so anything that speeds the game up will be really nice so in doom tower um places like the uh astranix the dark fate again similar to the fire knight you want your uh team to save their a2 their a3 or their uh, turn meter reduction skills before the boss fight so you we tend to manual the first and second wave but with this save team preset that might be uh that might be be a possibility where we can set it to auto and it will just do the fight for us so that would be a great addition a time saver to speed things up in this game so yeah uh, really looking forward to to that patch and uh, just when i thought that the that the game was uh holding back on patches on up updates because of the war that's going on in ukraine right now but in this uh, final weeks of march they really ramped ramped it up with the events with the updates making sure that the game is good to go for the next few few months that it's still fun to play making quality of life changes so that's really good for the game all right that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one